In this video, we're going to count unordered samples where we're not able to repeat or replace the elements. For example, how many ways can three elements from the set A, B, C, D be selected independent of their order? Well, one way to start this problem is that we already know how to count ordered samples, so let's just go ahead and do that. So step one is we're going to count the three permutations of the set. We know from the last video that there are four permute three, which is equal to four factorial divided by one factorial or four factorial or 24 such three permutations. They are ABC, ACB, BCA, BAC, CBA, CAB, ABD, ADB, BAD, BDA, DAB, DBA, ACD, ADC, CAD, CDA, DCA, DAC, BCD, BDC, CBD, CDB, DBC, and DCB. And what we'll notice next is that for each of these three permutations, there are six ways to order it. Notice, for example, that ABC, ACB, BCA, BAC, CBA, and CAB are all the same unordered sample. Likewise, with all the permutations of ABD, all the permutations of ACD, and all the permutations of BCD. So the next step is to divide by the three factorial orderings for each permutation. So 24 divided by 3 factorial, 3 factorial is 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. And we can count 1, 2, 3, 4 unordered samples without replacement. So in general, there are n factorial divided by r factorial divided by n minus r factorial ways to choose an unordered sample without replacement of size r from a universe of n elements. This number is read n choose r and is called a binomial coefficient for reasons we'll see in the next couple of videos. A key observation is that an unordered sample without replacement is a subset. Notice that the six orderings shown here, ABC, ACB, BCA, CBA, BAC, and CAB, all correspond to the subset ABC once we take away their order. To drive this last point home, let's count the subsets of the set ABCD that have sizes 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 respectively. So when we count the set with size 0, that's just going to be the empty set. And we know that there are only one of those. Well, 4 choose 0 is the number 4 factorial divided by 0 factorial 4 factorial. The 4 factorials cancel out and the 0 factorial is just 1, so that counts to 1 as well. Next, when we count the sets that only have one element, we're going to have the set containing A, the set containing B, the set containing C, and the set containing D. And there are four choose one of those, which is equal to four factorial over one factorial, three factorial. Four factorial can be written four times three times two times one over three times two times one leaves us with just four. Next, let's count the subsets that only have two elements. There's A, B, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, D, and C, D. There are four choose two, which is four factorial over two factorial, two factorial of those. 4 factorial is 24, 
2 times 2 is 4, and that leaves us with 6, which we've already counted this before. So there's 6 of those. Next, let's count the sets that have 3 elements. That's going to be the sets A, B, C, the sets A, B, D, the sets A, C, D, and the set B, C, D. And likewise, there are going to be four of those because four choose three is equal to four factorial over three factorial, one factorial. Now you may have noticed that this is the same as four choose one because the only difference is that the order of multiplication in the denominator is different. But there's another reason why these numbers are exactly the same. When you choose a set with three elements from A, B, C, D, you are also implicitly choosing a set with one element that you're not going to select. So every three element subset of A, B, C, D corresponds to a one element subset. And that's why those numbers are the same. In general, n choose r is always going to be the same as n choose n minus r. Finally, choosing all four of the elements of the set is the same as leaving behind none of the elements of the set. So there's also going to be one four element subset, just like there's one empty subset. Four choose four is four factorial over four factorial zero factorial, which is one.